Vinny's part of the show, pretty much. How are you doing, Nicole? You ready for this? Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to have Nicole do a couple simple behaviors with Vinny. And when Vinny does a good job, we're going to reinforce the good behaviors, feed him part of his diet so everybody can see what the sea lions are eating here at the arena, right? Alright, so Nicole, the first thing we need to do is we actually need to get Vinny on the wall. So I'll tell you what, let's take just a step back, give him a little bit more space. Step right on over here. Give him a little bit more space on the wall so he can hop up there. And the first behavior Nicole is going to do is a behavior we call targeting. Uh, it's actually the first behavior we train a sea lion to do here. And what she's going to do, she's going to make a fist with her hand. She's going to walk up there, she's going to hold it in front of him, tell him the target. No, keep, I'll tell you what, keep your hand in one. Yeah, he's yawning. All right. He's actually going to set his chin right on your hand. There you go. Now, if she moves her fist around, he will follow with his head. This is the first behavior we train, and it kind of makes an invisible leash for us. So it trains the sea lions where they need to go, where they need to follow us to, how to go in and out off stage. Pretty good job, Nicole. Pretty cool. All right, you did pretty good at that, Nicole. It is time to start feeding them some food. All right, we're gonna start out with some of those small fish we fixed earlier out of the cooler. You fixed the smallest fish we feed out is called Caitlin. It's kind of a low-fat, low-calorie fish we feed around here. So Nicole. Take your cape and all you need to do is simple underhand toss. You want to toss it up. Good job. And down the hatch it goes. Now, sea lions are marine mammals. So they're excellent swimmers. They're also excellent divers. They can hold their breath for up to 20 minutes at a time. But they can also dive down below 1,000 feet on a single breath of air. The reason they can do that is they exhale most of the air out of their lungs right before they dive. And when a sea lion exhales, they breathe out through their noses. So what Nicole is going to help the arc on here is we are training Benny how to blow a whistle using his nose. Okay? You're going to hold on to the whistle for me. Bring your head down a little bit, Benny. There you go. Not too bad. Bring it down. Right up there. Shot. See if you can do it just a little bit better. No, not too bad, Nicole. He's working on it though. He's getting the idea. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, Nicole, for that, we're gonna stick with those small fish again, alright? We've got another Caitlin. Sea lions get an awful lot of Caitlin around here. So go ahead and toss that up. Now, if you watch very closely, you'll notice he is not chewing his food, is he, Nicole? And that is because sea lion's teeth are designed for grasping and holding. They're not designed for chewing. So when a sea lion swims into a school of fish, all they have to do is grab a fish down, grab another fish, go up and down, you go ahead and toss them one more of those, take another look at that. So they eat their fish very quickly. Nicole, we're going to take a look at those teeth, all right? All right, and what you need to do here is you're going to hold your hand up in front of his face in a fist. There you go, and then open it up. Do it one more time. I think he was yawning. Good job. Very good, Nicole. That's good, Vinny. All right, for that, we're going to feed him a much larger fish. Remember the big fish we have here, kiddo? The biggest fish we feed out around here, it is a herring. And even the herring, too, we got to eat the bigger one here. Even the herring does disappear in one gulp. So, Nicole, take your herring, toss that up to Benny, and watch it disappear. Gulp it is gone just like that. Now, Nicole, you're doing a fabulous job, young lady. We've got something a little bit more we're going to do here. What we're going to do when Benny returns, we're going to have him lay down on the wall. Nicole is going to pet Benny, and she's going to tell everybody what a sea lion feels like, right? But the first thing we need to do is we need to get Benny on the wall, don't we? Because it's hard to pet a sea lion if he's not there, isn't it? Yeah, see, they are marine mammals. They like to swim a lot, so you can't blame them for that too much. Uh, they just always choose their time, uh, or our time, to want to swim instead of waiting until their section is over. But that's okay. They're sea lions. What can you do? There he is. All right. Are you ready to continue now? You got nice and wet? All right. Let me step over here, Nicole. We're going to get Benny. Lay down. There you go. Step on up there, pet uh, Benny on the back, and tell me what does a sea lion feel like, Nicole? What does he have on his back? Hair. That's right. Sea lions have short hair, kind of like a short hair dog. So it's a really short, somewhat coarse brown hair all over their body, although it is very smooth and very soft when you pet them, isn't it? Pretty cool, huh? Like that? before we feed Benny some dessert. Okay, one more thing is you're going to stand right over here next to your animal. There you go. Okay. Turn around. You can put your hand up on his chest there if you want. There you go. There I go. Look at nice big photographs. <laughs> it's fun. Excellent. Good job, Nicole. Good job, Benny. All right, Nicole, now it is time for 
our sea lion dessert. You want to tell everybody what dessert is? Squid. Squid, that's right. A nice, ice cold, juicy, delicious piece of squid. Isn't that nice? All right, there you go. You toss that one up to Benny. Down the hatch, fellas. Great job, Nicole. Great job, Benny Boy. And now, Nicole, it's time for us to head on the stage, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to head on the stage because Nicole has a couple more things she's going to do with Benny, but again, Benny swims off right when we needed him most. Yes. Are you ready, Benny, for this part? No, he's ready to take another lap. Nicole, you want to jump in the water and pull him out for me? You don't want to. I don't blame you, kid. We'll wait for him. Uh, this is part of the training, actually, is we're simply asking the animals to cooperate. If they choose not to cooperate, they don't have to do any particular behavior if they don't want to. Uh, they can stall like this if they want to, take a couple extra laps, or they also have the ability to go inside if they want to. Yeah, Benny, we're done with that part. We already gave you the massage. So I'll tell you what, Nicole, step on over here, give me a little more room. We're going to have him hop down here. We're going to head on the stage. Come on, kiddo. The three of us will head up on the stage. Uh, Benny has a couple more things he's going to do with us on stage, and then he's going to head inside. We have a couple more sea lions that will join us out here to wrap up their portion of the show. So we're heading up here, the three of us. There we go. Benny's going to head to his rock. All right, Nicole, let's head on over here. We'll head over to the prop box and fill it. I'm going to toss him a caplin for following us up on stage. Good job. All right, let's head over here to the prop box. Now, Benny, he is a California sea lion, and they deal with some difficulties in the wild, don't they? They have some natural predators out in the wild that they have to deal with. Now, Benny has been working on an imitation of one of those predators, and Nicole is going to assist Benny with showing off that. And we're going to see if you guys can guess what Benny is trying to imitate. Ready, Nicole? Head on over here, kiddo. Right over here, Benny knows what's coming. He's going to get set up. All right, you head over here and get set up. Remember this? Left hand up. Left hand. There you go. There we go. All right, let's go for a walk.
you're going to watch the rest of the show. Jeff is meeting you in the center. He has some gifts for you, okay? Look, Benny doesn't want to leave you. Look at that. He's following you. Uh, Jeff has a Frisbee from our friends at National City. He's out there in the center section. Frisbee from our friends at National City, a certificate that shows you completed the Trainer for a Day program, and most importantly is the Deluxe Handy Wipe, so you can clean that fish smell off your hands, kiddo. So great job, Nicole. Awesome, kid. Yes, I know you enjoy doing that, don't you? All right, well, like I said, Vinny's done with his part of the show. He's going to head inside.